Hello and welcome to this no-nonsense professional technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin charts and I'll be covering the very large volatility that we are seeing right now. Of course, today we have just had the CPI data come out, which, as we have become accustomed to in recent months, causes large volatility for the stock market, for the Forex, and of course here what we're looking at today, Bitcoin, as it follows along with these bigger markets in play. So I would like to show you with real evidence in front of you today, why we have to block out that news. We can be aware of the time and date that that CPI data comes out, but we only are gonna trade the technical levels, okay? In my opinion, the way that these sort of news events works are they, they speed up the moves that are already planned to happen. Okay, so if we have a really big resistance, well then maybe this CPI data will quickly get us up to that for the rejection. Or likewise, we have a key support level, that data will just bring us down to that support before the reversal. So it's very important, even though we've got some news event, we trade the charts, block in, you know, whether the news is bullish or bearish is irrelevant. All we need to know are our next levels to trade, and that's the only way, the only way to make money in this market. So with that said, I wanna get straight into the charts and show you really what's happened over the past 24 hours and what we're looking at for our next levels on this chart. So let's just get straight into it. From my last video, we were of course trading around here where I was in short positions, very confident in lower prices to come. And of course, we had the sideways range to be trading. And while making that video, we were actually getting a move up during that video, funnily enough. Uh, but I still wanted to see lower, obviously had the naked point of control around 21,350. And really simply, I had the low of the range to look for a swing failure pattern. And in the end, we actually did form a swing failure pattern after off the low of that range, okay? We actually formed two, swing failure pattern and then a second swing failure pattern of that swing failure pattern. So nice swing failure patterns in this market, okay? And the key for me here is, for me personally, after the swing failure pattern, I did take a long trade, okay? Of course, when we had rejected from the top of this range, it was from a swing failure pattern off at a range high. We moved down and I was very patient for lower prices while well, we're not touching the low of the range yet. And eventually we move down to the low of the range to SFP that range low, okay? And so for me, that's a very calm and collected trade, which I've pre-planned. And for me, it is a long position. I personally took the long off of the first SFP here, come up and hit my take profit one, and then got stopped out of the rest of that trade as we formed the second swing failure pattern, okay? And for me, that was, I, I simply got stopped out of the trade. I could actually show you some of my posts here. Um, so let me try and find here. Yeah, so for me, this is while we were still trading within this range. I said yesterday, for me, I'm happy to remain in short trades at the moment, look for lower prices, still was short on some of the altcoins. And then for me, yeah, that was uh, an acceptable long trade after the SFP. So for me, we formed the SFP of my low. I got answered the question as soon as it was asked in my trading questions channel that for me, this was a long position. Okay, so I got into this long, looking for this upper target here. Okay, and then this is what we call perfection off of this. <laughs> we actually had that higher, you know, the, the, the target here. I'll just show you the before and after picture. Confirm to my team that I'm long. For me, the first target is simply here, by the way. We actually come up, we hit that target. We bounced off that level once more and we come then down for the second swing failure pattern of the low. I personally did not take this long, so I kind of missed that trade because it was the low. Okay, and we made our way up. And where did we reject from? Well, I'll show you here. We actually rejected from the CC. Okay, so now we're going to add on some new technical analysis here. And you can see here, we come up from CC from high to low. We rejected from that CC. And then really simply to my team, I'm telling my team then the next levels that we have to take the trades. Okay, and for me, it was really simple. Okay, when we zoom into the chart here, it's still that same sideways range, but we now have a new level below us, which was the NPOC at $21,612, okay? And have a look what we had as confluence on that. Fibonacci from low up to the high of the move, we come into the CC there as well. So we have, just remind ourselves what's happened then over the past 24 hours. From high to low, we rejected here off the CC. Then from low to high, we will support here off of the CC. And what was the confluence that we had here? It was our NPOC. 
Okay, so you can see here how that level was very well respected. And so as I posted over here on Twitter with a few more, you know, from my questions channel, and this is the good thing, right? If I ever post a chart in my group, you can ask as ever many questions as you want about my charts and I will give you the answer. And so naturally today when I posted this this morning around 9 a.m., uh, you know, for me, the next level for me was 21,600. A lot of people are asking, am I still looking for 21,350? Am I still looking for 21,100? And for me, my answer is simple. No, I'm not looking for 21,100. For me now, I'm looking at 21,600 because that is the next level of my support. Really simply, it's level to level. 21,612 is my level to hold. And I also was asked the question, am I, am I bearish at the moment? And my answer to that was also no, I am not bearish anymore. I'm really simply 50-50 neutral as we go into the CPI volatility later today. And then I actually was asked a question a little bit later after this saying, you know, um, you know, with the CPI volatility, are you going to take a trade? My answer was yes. And actually, if we hit 21,600, I will happily then take that long trade. Remember, I was in no longs locally there because of the second swing fur. I got stopped out my first trade. So I was keen to take a trade if I got a reaction and a reaction we did get. OK, so then we had formed this low into the CC, into the CC. That's like I've just shown my team uh, <laughs> a little bit later in these posts. But this move that we actually got up to here, as you can see off of this Fibonacci pool, was funnily enough, let me just delete it and show you, Fibonacci from the high down to the low into the CC. So literally over the last 24 hours, we've went from high to low, rejected from the CC zone, then from low to high, found support off of the CC zone, and then from high to low, rejected from the CC zone. So uh, yeah, CC Fibonacci glores right now. And I'll actually just show you this really nice NPOC level that we had of confluence. Remembering that was the level that we were aware of this morning at around 9 a.m. And then look at that perfect reaction that we had off of it. If we come down to a lower term time frame, you can see how you had a very nice entry in terms of the wick onto that level, bounce back up, and then you actually got a retest. So you come down, retested that NPOC before the large move to the upside to the top CC. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop saying CC before people get <laughs> bored of me repeating that word. Um, but yeah, really simply, it, is, it, it, it can be as simple as that. And I hope I've just shown you for, via the past five minutes why it's absolutely crucial to block out the noise, block out the news. Yes, we were aware of the volatility today. Absolutely, we were more than aware of you know the volatility that's going to come. But imagine if you're if you're waiting for the news and then you're waiting to see if it's bullish or it's bearish. Well, to us as traders, it didn't matter, right? All we knew was that's the next level to trade at twenty one six hundred. This is the reaction that we got, bam, into the CC and a very perfect retest of the exact level that we're waiting for. Well, it doesn't matter. Bullish, bearish news, who cares? That's a long trade, right? <laughs> Less than 0.5% risk on the long trade. And then what? You come up into the CC. Does it matter if the news is bullish or bearish? No. You've come up to a very valid level within the charts. Over the past 24 hours, it's given exact highs and exact lows. And once again, it's given a high here on the Bitcoin chart. So you can see here, it doesn't matter whether the news is bullish or bearish. It really is irrelevant to us as traders. All we've come to grips with is what's the next level on the chart? Where is my next trade opportunity? And is there a reaction there? Yes or no? Okay. So those are very simple answers. Is there a reaction? Yes or no? So it's like I told my team, level to level, 21612 is my level to see the reaction. Here we are on a, you know, a three minute chart. Is there a reaction at that level? Absolutely there is. So then you can look to long on this retracement or get in at market in validation below the wick. In the end, you got a very perfect retest of the level. And once again, is that a secondary reaction? Yes. Wick onto the level. This is a very nice reaction, right? And then from there, you got the move to the upside where you get a you know, a pullback here from the CC. So for me, that was a quick rundown of the past 24 hours and just showing you what's possible. It's really nice to see some other champions as well, learning what we teach. And over the past 24, you know, what, 48 hours actually, uh, plus 5% in profits. He's made 5% on his account. Why? Waiting patiently for the short off the top of the range, which I talked about a few days ago in a YouTube video. We are obviously in that short together. Myself was also in short positions waiting for lower. Okay, my, obviously my next level to the downside was really simply low of the range for a potential swing failure pattern. We got that swing failure pattern. 
Okay, so this is obviously a long trade. I personally got stopped out on this secondary long. This guy actually had a better invalidation or a wider invalidation, not necessarily better, but a wider invalidation. Didn't get stopped out. And then he made uh, profits as we pumped up here. Of course, I didn't take this long, but I managed to get in it off of the 21600 NPOC retest. So um, at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's great to see people learning, people educating themselves and, you know, people able to secure decent profits along with us. So, yeah, that, that personally makes me happy. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was the quick walkthrough of the past 24 hours. And then, of course, what I'm looking at next is we'll have a guess, ladies and gentlemen, level to level. Of course, this level is now tapped. I can get rid of that. I can actually get rid of that top of the CC here is not tapped. So naturally, now I have a few more levels to be aware of the lower NPOC, which is technically still untapped down here at 21,350. And if we get through this top of the CC, and I have here my next level to be aware of at 22,587. Of course, <laughs> funnily enough, we can start to pull CCs right here, right? <laughs> and start to look at more local CCs, Fibonacci from low to high, okay, to be aware of this current trend where we're going CC, 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 CC. <laughs> so that's just our Fibonacci term, right? Um, so that's the sort of things that I'll be looking at next. Okay, take a look at the stock market, take a look at the Forex market, take a look at Bitcoin market, which we've gone through in this video, and make ourselves ready, make ourselves aware of the next levels, and then really simply set the alerts, trade their reactions. Ladies and gentlemen, I know some people might refer to this as a, um, I don't know, some people might not like this style of trading, but this is the style of trading that I use. This is how I've made millions of dollars <laughs> from trading the markets. And, you know, this is what we teach. And as you can see from the results of the people that have studied hard, you know, they can replicate these methods, okay? Maybe even create their own strategies off of it and really become a profitable, self-sufficient trader. And that is our goal at Chart Champions. It is to create you into a self-sufficient trader. So we're not a signals group. We're not here to say, long here, entry this price, stop loss, this exact dollar, target this exact dollar. We are not a signals group, right? Of course, we give heads up, we give our levels, uh, but at the end of the day, we, we don't focus on signals. We're not here to spoon feed anybody, but we're here to really educate you and push you up to the best of your abilities. So you can then, instead of handing you the fish, you're able to go and fish yourself, right? You're able to learn the skills that will last a lifetime that can be used across every single market in the world and take advantage to become financially free yourself through trading. That's our goal here. That's what we strive and aim for. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what we're working hard at every single day. Of course, if um, I haven't mentioned it already, we now have, you know, been working very hard. While others talk, we work and build, right? And uh, we've released over the past few days a new strategy from Eagle, if one, if two. This is a very, very, very good new strategy. So if you want to watch that, that's live on the website now. Okay, we've also released our new trading journals. Uh, so the this is a journal built into the website. Uh, so yeah, this is something that we're very, very, very proud of. We understand the importance of journaling, of course, and, uh, you know, the psychology and statistics recording. So this is all what's going to be built. Well, it's already started, right? On the website, you can get that now as a contender and champion. So you've got the journal, you've got the new strategies, you've got the new video player updates. Daily updates now are be being done by myself and by Igor. So you have a really high level of quality uh, as well as you know, the updates throughout the day within the coaches only channels, the live trading series that we have and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, if you want all that, you know where to get it over on the website, chartchampions.com. going to say, wrap it up here by saying thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed and yeah, be sure to catch you Hello. in the next one. <laughs> Hello, you go and goodbye. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And it's <laughs> me signing out. Goodbye. Of course, I'll end with the legal trade disclaimer. No financial advice in this video, just an entertainment educational video only trades on paper demo trade accounts. Cheers and goodbye.